What's up wizards? Let's talk about a brand new keyword coming to JavaScript and TypeScript using. Using is another way to declare variables just like var and let and const. It's going to give you a way to idiomatically do really smart things with database connections, with file handles and a lot of different things. So let's take a look and see how it's going to change your game shipping applications. I'm running through the article that I wrote for Total TypeScript, which I'll link below on the new using keyword and all of its uses. The basic idea looks something like this. Let's say that you've got a resource here, which is called get resource. And get resource, what it does is it's, imagine it's in like this little scope here. This scope could be like a function scope or just like a random scope that I've got here. You call get resource and it returns a resource and you use the using keyword on it. Now, this resource is just an object which has symbol.dispose on it, which is a new symbol which this proposal is going to add into JavaScript. And what happens is this does nothing in this code here, but when this little resource variable leaves scope, so when the program goes to the next bit of execution block, then this is going to call symbol.dispose and hooray is going to be logged to the console. This means that you can think of this resource as kind of like handling its own destruction, its own disposal, because we could basically, anything inside this little block here, we could use this resource and do things with it. Let's say it's a database and we're kind of trying to grab things from the database and it will automatically clean itself up afterwards. It gets really powerful when you use it with await because we can have an async dispose function, which basically has an async call inside it. So we await some async func inside the async dispose and we grab our dispose or rather grab our resource. And then we can just sort of asynchronously, we don't even need to worry about the cleanup, the cleanup happens automatically. These functions are pretty hard to read, so let's jump to a real use case. Let's look at the database connection one. Without using, you kind of have this connection here where you get the database, you do stuff with the connection, maybe you catch to check if like, like it failed or things like that, and then finally, after all your stuff is done, you do a connection.close. But with using, you get to kind of have your cake and eat it too, which is you have this await using connection equals get connection. You do stuff with the connection and whether it succeeds or fails, you basically, it's automatically closed. This example too is slightly incorrect because you can't quite destructure at this point. You have to grab the entire connection and then you're, you can use it there. This is, I think, the use case that people are going to get the most benefit out of because you just don't need to worry about a whole class of errors anymore. This is just handled for you. The idea that you would need to close these connections manually or kind of write logic to make sure that you didn't overload your, your database or your serverless connection, it's just not a problem anymore. So the idea of this actually comes from C Sharp because C Sharp has a using as well, which allows it to do things with disposables. And the people that wrote this proposal to get it into JavaScript actually used C Sharp as their reference and used it as their prior art. So does this mean that TypeScript is trying to turn JavaScript into C Sharp? No, it's just taking the really, or rather JavaScript is taking the really popular things from C Sharp itself and saying, ha, huh, I kind of fancy that. Let's, let's grab that into the language. Now, does using replace const let and var as your you know variable declarator of choice? No, it doesn't. It's for a very, very specific use case. TypeScript might even give you a warning if you try to use a normal variable with using, because using really only makes sense if it has an async dispose function on it or a dispose function on it. So using is coming in TypeScript 5.2, which has not even hit beta yet. I think it's going to be a really big thing for those of us who do a lot of database connecting, for those of us who have resources that they want to manage like this. And I think it's really, really cool that they're adding it to the language, especially because they know that it was popular in C Sharp. If you want to take advantage of using as soon as it comes into the language, then you should keep tabs on TotalTypescript.com. I'm going to be posting all sorts of free resources on using, and it's got loads of free stuff already on learning TypeScript too. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. This is actually my first video with this new setup in my garden office. Let me know what you think. Let me know how I can improve this picture. I know I need some stuff on the walls and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to have like a, a couple of videos here if you want to take a look. But otherwise, I've been Matt and I will see you very soon.